now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Alrighty, 1480 SAR. We have a special guest host from Bristol Community College, Laura, with the... Uh, uh, President Laura Douglas with this uh, Monday off and uh, filling in uh, for the president will be uh, director of the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center, Denny Cosmo, uh, who's uh, going to be along with us for a few moments uh, to talk about students, veterans, uh, uh, possibilities and uh, it's a it's a very good program. And uh, let's say hello to, uh, to Denny. How are you, Denny? How are things going? Good. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Sound great. Sound good. Yeah. How was your weekend? Good. My excellent. My weekend was excellent. Thank you very much for asking. All right. So, tell us a bit, if you can, about and I'm sure you can about the the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center opportunities for student veterans at Bristol Community College. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking. Bristol Community College's Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center serves as a central location for all student services and grants grant-related veteran activities while providing a sense of community along with the college's student veterans. So we serve not just veterans and National Guard members, but also their family members, so spouses and children. Many of them are eligible for GI Bill benefits through their, their loved ones and can use their GI Bill benefits at Bristol Community College to further their education. Uh, the center serves as the single point contact for any GI Bill benefit questions, education benefit questions, military scholarships, any kind of academic counseling or peer counseling that the veterans need as they transition out of the military into higher education. And we also do a lot of professional development so that the veterans are learning how to navigate LinkedIn, learn na navigate all the other resources for veterans in the civilian world. All right. We also have, uh, like, a study space and nice lounge area so the veterans can meet each other and have group activities as well. So tell us if you, uh, if you can take a couple of moments to uh, discuss some of the recent initiatives uh, happening at Bristol. All right. Thank you. So, you know, the, the pandemic is slowly weighing down, and we want to get students back on campus. We want to get students meeting each other and connecting each other in a safe way. So we have a Student Veterans of America chapter at Bristol Community College, which is a, a national organization for veterans and National Guard members that are studying in uh, colleges and universities across the country. So it's a great way for students to activate their leadership experience and on campus and off campus and meet and leverage their military experience as a student. So our Student Veterans of America chapter is very active in meeting students with uh, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, the Honors Program, and other traditional students. We're really promoting the academic recognition of student veterans, so all the research that they're doing in class at Bristol. We want to make sure that they're getting celebrated and telling their veteran stories as they transition and that they're doing really well academically with their GPAs, their academic research that they're doing here. We really want to highlight their voices. We also started a military alumni association through the Bristol Alumni uh, Group. It's for veterans and military affiliated alumni that came to Bristol throughout the decades that can connect with current student veterans and help them mentor them to professional careers. All right. Well, it sounds like you've got lots going on there. Uh, Denny, what's the best way to get in touch with you or someone uh, who's involved in the program? And, and are, are the schedules pretty flexible for, for some, of the, uh, so, some of the courses and all of that? Yeah. So <clears throat> if anyone's interested, we can, we're found at www.bristolcc.edu backslash veterans, or you can call our office at 774 Three five seven two 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 seven. We have day classes. We have night classes. We have hybrid classes. If you're still um, working and you can't come to class at a specific time, we have hybrid opportunities in class and still online. Um, so there's lots of opportunities, lots of flexibility for anyone that's transitioning 
wants to keep their skills sharp and um, stay in an employable fashion. All right, good stuff. You got so yeah, there's a lot of flexibility as far as uh, when you get to take uh, take some of the courses, uh, and I suppose uh, you're probably liking the in person, uh, uh, you know, attendance better than online. Because, but it is yeah. it is a great convenience for lots of folks. Yeah, and people have families, people have work, and they want to keep skilled up, but they have to you know have other responsibilities. So having that flexibility is a great asset. Okay, but is we it, also. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, and we recently just got recognized as uh, a military-friendly school with a silver designation, which is uh, for the 2022-2023 academic year. Well, that's great. So that's Good a, for you. a national organization through GI Jobs Magazine. That, that'll be published in May. Well, that's a great honor. Good for you. Excellent. I'm sure. I'm sure you had a little bit to do with that. <laughs> no, it's it's the students, it's the college, it's the, yep. all the faculty and staff that add value to the student veteran experience and the students themselves. Yeah, well, I'm sure they make the program. But uh, we, when you're the director, it's a, it's good. It's good to get the accolades. Uh, you you put in a lot of time, a lot of great work, and uh, and you're making. Uh, you know, you're you're providing some great opportunities for our vets and our student vets. So that that's a that's a that's a all. Uh, I think it's kind of we as we say a win-win uh, situation. I think you'd have yeah, to say. Yeah, absolutely. That. You're absolutely correct. Then uh, Denny Cosmo, thank you. We appreciate you uh, spending a few moments with us. Uh, Denny is the uh, director of the Joseph A. Marshall Veteran Center at Bristol Community College, and I'm assuming this is the this is all based at uh, on Elsby Street in in Fall River, right? Yeah, we have a, a, a one-stop shop that has the GI Bill benefits, administrative portion, academic advising, my office, and the Veteran Lounge in Fall River, Ellsbury Street. But we can always meet a student if they're interested, and we, for a one-on session, one-on-one -on -one session, we can go to any campus and meet them individually. Oh, that's, yeah, great. Okay. Uh, yet uh, more great convenience. That's uh, that's good. That's good. That's all good news. And uh, we thank you, Denny, for, for spending a couple of moments with us. You have a great week and, uh, and a good uh, spring and summer. You too. Happy Monday. All right. You too. Take care. Thanks.